Uh, welcome to your weekly reading for September 7th to the 14th. I am Charlene Lizette. Sorry if the lighting keeps changing a bit. Somebody by the name of Raven Spitfire. Yeah, was cuddling to the lights. She scared me actually in the end of Virgo's video. If you want to go see me literally almost jump my soul, literally jumped out of my body. And I don't get scared often anyways, Libra. Let's see what's going on for you this week. What is happening? Okay, so we got the Ace of Wands and Two of Pentacles. Uh, yes, Libra, if you're new here, thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you click subscribe. If you're returning a massive thank you to you. As always, I do need to give gratitude and adoration to my great queen, the Morgan, to whom all my work is devoted to. Okay, look at you focus on your money. Ma'am, I need my lighting, okay? <laughs> you're making me look with not so good lighting, you know? You know, Charlene needs it, please, please. There you go, much better, hopefully. Um, yeah, okay, so money's on your mind. Um, you're really focused here on finances. If it's not necessarily finances, stability or material, um, yeah, material things in your home, okay? Um, for some of you, you actually may be getting a new career opportunity or a new business opportunity or a new uh, revenue stream. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, all right, I like this. Um, so here's the thing. If you are being offered something new when it comes to finances, okay, um, or career opportunity or money in general, um, don't be so quick to say no. Listen to your intuition, okay? Because we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Page, and the Ace of Cups. So I feel like this opportunity can give you a lot of money, a lot of material wealth. Um, it is emotional in nature though. So this could mean that, you know, it's something where you, uh, yeah, it's something where you have to like sacrifice one thing to get it, to get it right. Whether it's like leaving an old job or having to work more hours or whatever. Okay. Um, I feel like don't be guilty, don't feel remorse, don't feel anything negative around this. Um, you got guilt as your mantra card. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth, okay? Um, I think that this is more about you understanding that um, there's a passionate new beginning here, but it means more balance, more juggling, more organizing, more discipline, okay? Um, but it will bring you this emotional fulfillment, okay? So if you've been feeling very financially stuck, okay, or feeling stagnant financially, if this, like, looks good, if it feels solid to you, if your intuition is saying, yeah, with that priestess card here, go for it, okay? Um, don't, don't deny yourself this opportunity. Sometimes change is really good, right? I'll share a quick story with you. I just left my gym of 15 years for a new gym, which is half the price of what I was paying. And, you know, part of me was like a little bit sad, but then I was like, this is new. And I'm at my new gym and I've been there for three days and I freaking love the gym. I'm like, why wasn't I here from the beginning? So, you know, like sometimes change is really good. So the astrology cards that you got are Leo and the sun and Capricorn. Yeah. Wow. And Saturn. Okay. Yeah. This definitely feels like a new career opportunity coming around that is very financially motivated, but also has you really showing up in your energy. I'm just getting this vibe of like a Libra center stage, right? Looking very refined, looking very good, looking very sultry and sexy and Venus like, okay. With the Ace of Wands and the Page, sorry, with, with the Ace of Wands and the Two of Pentacles, um, I do feel like when it starts off, it may start off with like a bang and it might make you feel like, whoa, oh my God, I'm juggling too many things, okay? Just get mental clarity, clarity on it and be very clear in your thought process as you're expanding, as you're taking these next steps, okay? Um, really? No, these are beautiful flowers. Do not eat them. You have food downstairs. I said no. I said no. Why are you being rude? What did I say to you? I'm watching you. Sorry. Um, so yeah, so I feel like mentally, just get very clear in how Raven Spitfire. I said no, that is rude. I don't like not being listened to. Okay, with the, sorry. 
I know sometimes Libra comment like very not nice things. They're like, oh, the cat, the cat. If you don't like my cat, don't watch my videos. Okay, Raven's my baby. Um, the Knight of Swords, I just feel like you might have this feeling of like, oh my God, I'm really like juggling, but it's actually more in your mind. You're, it's your mind that you're overanalyzing something. So just get really clear because the Ten of Pentacles is here with that Page of Pentacles, which tells me that financially this could be something very, very good for you. Like I said, trust your intuition, okay? Be very still. Um, don't overreact or don't engage in anything that could be mentally... Sorry, I had to do that because she was being rude. Um, don't engage in anything that could mentally and emotionally overwhelm you because that's not going to serve you for your highest good, Okay. The Leo and the Capricorn energy makes me feel like you may be asked to take center stage. You may actually be pulled to do something a little bit out of your comfort zone, okay? Um, so just so you know that, um, because, well, because, because this is how you're going to get that wish fulfillment that you want. All right, Libra, let's get into your love reading, see what's going on here. If you want to book a live one hour or you want to shop at Star Sea Jewels and pick up your modern day amulets, you can do so in the description box below. I'm sorry you had to see me push Raven out of the way. It was a gentle, loving nudge, but cats need to understand that when you say no, it means no. And Raven has been pretty naughty lately. And I love her, but naughty naughty is not okay. Oh, okay, romantic feelings, nine of cups. Oh, you got two nine of cups? Okay, there's some type of wish fulfillment coming to fruition here, Libra. Oh my, oh my God healing family issues in the world wow okay and what do you got here the seven of cups and attraction okay libra if you're single this journey that you're on like work-wise this work thing that you're on um i can actually bring you um new love oh like while maybe you have to do a presentation, maybe at work you're asked to do something that maybe you're not really like used to doing um, and you do this and while you're in front of, I don't know, your company, whatever you do, um, this person that you didn't even know worked at your company and they didn't even know you worked there um, kind of sees you standing in the center stage with that Leo card. Yeah, and they might make a move. Oh, that's cool. Okay, cool. All right, well, I hope you have a great week, Libra. Thank you so much. And again, I apologize for um, the whole Raven drama. She's back. She's like, oh, I'm going to come cuddle you now. You can come cuddle me, but don't hurt the plants, please. All right, have a great day. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.